Hi, this is Jody from Chime Master. We always recommend reviewing your schedule before adding anything new. This video will show you how to do that online using Chime Center. Click Schedule and under Review, you'll see the three review options. Events list, upcoming selections, and played selections. I will discuss them in that order. First, click Events List. You can view the music and call to worship bells according to how they are scheduled. Weekly, monthly, annual, and one time. Note that scheduled time strikes and the Angelus do not appear on this list. Click Schedule to view and edit these configurations. Separate tutorial videos for the time strike and Angelus are linked below. In each tab, use the column headers to sort and filter the review tables. You can also delete individual events you wish to erase from your schedule. If you click the View Edit button, you can see more details and can make changes to a single event. Then click Save Changes or Cancel to return to the Events List page. Click Clear Schedule at the top to delete events by type. A window will open and allow you to select which types of events to erase. Then click Cancel or Clear the selected events. To look at future events, click Schedule and Upcoming Events. If needed, edit the start date and number of days. Then click Get Event Timeline. When the list populates, it will show future events for the specified time period beginning with what is scheduled next. This includes weekly, monthly, annual and one-time events, time strikes, and any scheduled Angelus or call to worship. You can see that the times scheduled to play Almanac selected music in View Events now have appropriate titles according to the season of the selected date and all items are assigned to specific minutes according to the order they were added to the schedule. For each scheduled item, you can click Why Will This Play? In the pop-up window, you'll see a detailed description of why that item is scheduled to play. If the explanation is correct, click Done to exit this window. If you don't want this event to play the way it is scheduled, select the reason from the listed options and click Done. If necessary, you may be directed to another page to make changes. Whatever you change, no music will be erased from the ringing system. The system will rebuild this list, but if changes were made close to the time of the next scheduled event, it may not be able to complete the task before the event begins. The system will wait for a break in the schedule before the changes are completed. Under Schedule, click Played Selections. You will see a list of titles previously played on your bell system, beginning with the most recent. Anything started manually, whether from Chime Center, a remote, or the front of the ringing system, is highlighted in light gray. All other selections were played from the automatic schedule. This page will also show if a scheduled event did not play because of a keyboard or automation suspension. Just as on the upcoming selections page, you can click Why did this play? You will see the same window appear and you can make the same changes. After saving, the ringing system will rebuild your library so an unwanted event will not play again. Thank you for watching this Chime Master video. Look below for help with other Chime Center features.